in 10 years time, the dairy industry as it currently exists will not exist. It will all be replaced by plant-based or precision fermented milks, cheeses, yogurts, and so forth. 50% of the meat market will have been replaced by plant-based meats. And everyone's familiar with those like Beyond Meat or Impossible or Meatless Farms or Corn, uh, but also sell ag meats. And we think that over 50% of fish will be grown uh, in laboratories. So this is an early stage industry that all the companies that we invest in have products now. Hi guys, it's Steve from Disruptive Wealth Creation. According to Jim Mellon from Agronomics, who you've just seen, the future of meat alternatives is plant-based food. Today we look at which companies are promoting plant-based food how they are promoting and selling it. And then we will finish up with listening to one of our YouTuber family members on his view about eating meat. Don't miss it. Let me share some reasons with you why plant-based food is becoming more popular. Here is the first reason. Deforestation has skyrocketed in the Amazon and the main culprit is right behind me. Here is the second reason. You reduce meat consumption, you reduce your risk of cancer and heart attacks and stroke and diabetes. The evidence is consistent. Cutting down on meat is a good idea and cutting it out completely is best of all. Right guys, so which companies are out there selling plant-based meat? Well, we've already mentioned agronomics. Then there is Beyond Meat and Tattoo Chef. There is also another company called Impossible Foods, but they are a private company and not listed on the stock exchange. Let's start with agronomics, uh, the first company that wants a piece of the $3 trillion share of the market. It's basically a holding investment company based in the UK. They have 16 companies which include cultured meat as well as plant-based meat. They started two years ago. Initially, their share price was flat. Then they started to pick up when Just Eat was approved to sell cultured meat in Singapore. The price then dropped a bit due to the dilution of shares. But slowly, the shares have been creeping up again. Grilling and chilling with the new Beyond Burger. You get it, brothers. Gordon Ramsay, what, what do you think? Two crazy things. Lastly, we will look at Tattoo Chef as a company to potentially invest in before we meet our special YouTube guest for his views on alternative meat. Right, guys, let's have a quick look at Tattoo Chef. Uh, here's a short commercial telling you what they're all about. Tattooed Chef. This looks like a great company to invest in. Its young guns are providing more value more health products at substantially good prices. The frozen foods show they are adaptable at diversifying their products and they have introduced these products to a large number of shops. Added features are that they are vertically integrated, which means that they have their own farms and they have over 30 products and they are looking at expanding to over 150 products by the end of 2021. Check them out on their financials before you invest. So now, let's finish up on a conversation between myself and Dimitri 
from Mountain of Inspiration about alternative meat. I want to ask you just three questions, if I may. Is that okay? Go, go right ahead. Right, thank you. So my first question is, uh, are you a, a meat eater? Do you eat meat? Yes, I do. And I love meat. Oh, you love me. Oh, right. Okay. That wasn't the answer I was looking for. But anyway, let's carry on. So um, what about becoming a vegetarian? Would you consider that to save the planet? As, as a matter of fact, let me just clarify my, my first uh, answer. Yes. I love meat, but I also understand that consumption of meat can actually lead to some uh, major health problems. Right. So for the past 15 years, I've been considering actually reducing my consumption of meat and uh, try to actually focus a bit more on uh, eating vegetarian. Oh, excellent. I was considering becoming vegetarian, I mean, going full-time full vegetarian, but my family said that this might be too much on the rest of the family. So yeah. what you may want to do is just reduce the amount of meat actually uh, consume on a weekly basis so that we can actually find a way to create some kind of balance with the rest of the family. Yeah. I think for me, I would say to you that um, it's become a little bit easier for me because when, when you have young children, then mm -hmm. it's really difficult because you either have to do everything vegetarian or you do some vegetarian and some not vegetarian. It just gets too complicated. So um, fortunately, now that there's just me and my wife, we, we can mm -hmm. sort of focus on that bit more. Um, we're not perfect. We still eat meat, but um, mm -hmm. we're like you. We, we're trying our best. Mm -hmm. So um, you've answered those two questions. So just one more question, really. Um, have you tried the alternatives? Have you tried, for example, Beyond Meat or... Uh, impossible foods, you know, these different um, variations. Yes, we have. As a matter of fact, one thing I said, the taste was, uh, some of them was exquisite and yes. uh, other tasted like um, something that was processed, that was not very uh, uh, genuine. Right. But we're definitely looking forward to actually uh, trying more because it, I believe it's definitely the step in the right direction. Great. Okay, that's fine. Thank you very much for that, uh, Dimitri. Uh, much appreciated. All the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Okay.